if you're an affiliate marketer working with JV Zoo, uh, the good news is that you can use Audience Press to get all your conversions reported within Audience Press itself using a very simple integration method that has been a part of JVZoo like since uh, the early stages of JVZoo but is pretty much underutilized by almost everyone and that is the TID tracking feature in JVZoo. As you know, JVZoo allows you to pass a string of numbers and alphabets at the end of your affiliate links and that will help you to identify traffic sources. But in most cases, it will be pretty redundant and difficult to add in that additional tracking manually for every single traffic source that you want to track. With Audience Press, we add a layer of technology that makes the TID feature in JVZoo so much more meaningful and powerful. Now to start tracking conversions in JVZoo, all you have to do is when you create a cloaked link you, uh, for to promote a JVZoo affiliate product, you have to enable affiliate tracking. Let me show you how that's done. So this is a JVZoo affiliate link that I have cloaked and promoted with my Audience Press account. As you can see the JVZoo link here. Now, normally at the back, you will need to add question mark TID equals to and you would specify your own tracking at the back of it but with audience press we can do this automatically all you have to do is go to the bottom here when you see affiliate tracking make sure affiliate tracking is turned on and under sub id format and that is uh, the name or the generic term used to describe tid and lots of other type of sub ids so uh, clickbank and jvzoo uses the same format which is tid so you can see there's so many other formats for sub id tracking used by different affiliate networks uh, for example share a sale uses f track and sid s1 etc used by different affiliate platforms so if you're not sure or you just want to double check you can click on refer to this chart and you can see here for clickbank jvzoo the correct format is tid so all you have to do is enable affiliate tracking here and click save changes now when whenever someone clicks on your cloaked or masked affiliate link we will add the id for that click which is something that we call click tracking ID automatically generated for every single click uh, for every single link that you click in audience press we will generate a unique ID and pass that to your affiliate link as the TID so now comes the part where you once you have made a commission in JVZoo how do you actually retrieve that TID in your report and import it back to audience press to match your commissions to your cloaked link and to get other information uh, for example the country the city and also if you are using the campaigns feature in audience press the source the campaign the medium the cost per click and a lot more so when you log into your JVZoo account under uh, the affiliates tab you can click on transactions right there okay so the best thing that you can do here uh, is to select a date range so let's select a date range of this year well i guess i have to do it manually all right so let's select a date range of this year i'm going to start from january till today and uh, you notice that they allow you to search for TID, but we're not going to use this function because the TID is going to be unique for every single click. Okay, so now let's click on search. And here you'll find a list of, uh, or you can see a list of products for which I have made commissions for. And you can see the TID over there. So I have been implementing the Audience Press tracking system for a while now, while in development. And this basically means this is the 1014th click that is tracked via my Audience Press uh, installation on my WordPress blog. Now you will notice that lots of the products have TID. The TID is passed automatically by Audience Press. And when you make a commission or when uh, a conversion is recorded by JVZoo, they capture the TID. Now you notice that some of the items here do not have a TID. So what's up with that? Did I forget to turn on affiliate tracking? Uh, in some small cases, yes, I forgot to actually click on the affiliate tracking button. But 
the rest of it it is a bug or whatever it is i don't know so let me explain what the problem is the tid is recorded by jvzoo and displayed in this table here only for the front end offer so if you if the um, seller has many products in the funnel and a person clicks on one time or clicks one time on your affiliate link and they buy the front end product the tid is tracked here but the tid is the same when they purchase the second product but for the second oto or upsell or whatever it is uh, jvzoo somehow strips off the tid or just does not carry forward the tid okay i hope i'm making myself clear so basically the tid is only captured by jvzoo for the front end offer it also does not display the tid for recurring commissions like this one for example okay so if i had to go and search uh for the vendor john gip and momia uh, video vibe so social monthly for the first purchase i would see a tid but for monthly commissions the tid is just not there so that being said uh, you can download the commission report if you want to and you can edit it if you know you know or if it makes sense uh, for example let me give you an example here all right so let's take this in, in, as an example so basically i can logically deduct here that this is the same user who clicked once and therefore the tid is 2067 he bought the front end uh, product video titan 2.0 and then he also bought the upsell which is video titan pro um, there is <laughs> there's no way of being sure but it's a logical deduction um, because this is the front end offer and this is the upsell so the same tid should also appear here it does not so if you want to make or you want to correct it then you will have to uh, do a lot of manual uh, work here i hope i really really hope jvzoo will eventually fix this but anyway uh, there are 43 records here so um what you need to do is get this csv report download this csv file all right so uh, when you mouse over you'll see export this results as a csv file you can click download to download that file and if you open up that file you will get a csv report now you can open the csv file and edit it to you know uh, for example uh, fill in the missing tids if you want to but you have to be very very sure uh, that you save it back as a dot csv file and you also have to be very sure that the uh, application that you're using which is most probably microsoft excel is not going to mess around with the date formats here because there are some instances when uh, you open the csv file and excel automatically changes the format the date format here into a different time for example this is 03 2019 okay so this is a 24 hour uh, time format and sometimes it automatically changed this to 3 a.m or 3 20 a.m something like that and they may also change uh this format here year month and date they may simply change it to 17th january 17 slash 01 or 01 slash 17 slash uh, 2016 now we don't want that to happen uh, you if that happens then you will have to uh, upload the file as a custom file okay but if you just want to upload it exactly as what you downloaded it that's a much easier way again there are some limitations or some tids not showing up but you can still edit that manually later okay so now i'm going to go back to audience press i'm going to go to conversions and then i'm going to click on add import so now under import file i'm going to choose a predefined option here which is jvzoo and uh, as i said if you are going to edit that file um, you would need to make sure that when you want to upload it back it follows this sample format as you can see here okay uh, you can click on instructions you have lots of instructions or you can click a uh, download sample to download a sample csv file with the rows and columns and all you have to do is populate the data in the correct rows and columns uh, but the easier way is to select jvzoo no options here because we already understand the exact format as per what jvzoo gives you click choose file 
Now all you need to do is uh, select the JVZoo CSV file that you've downloaded and click on open and then click import file. Now it, ha it only supports up to one megabyte of file size, which is huge uh, considering this is just a CSV file. So just keep that in mind, okay? So now uh, you see here the file you've uploaded contain 11 invalid rows. Tick the checkbox if you want to ignore all errors and import anyway. Okay, so the ones that are valid, uh, it's no problem. You don't find a checkbox here. And it says CTID found, which is basically uh, our click tracking ID passed to JVZoo in their TID format. Okay, um, so this is all valid. Now, this one here, it says CTID does not exist. So we do give you an option even though we cannot find a CTID uh, uh, as per what JVZoo says, okay, as per what I said before, okay, this could be basically the same customer here uh, who bought the front end offer and then bought the one time offer, but JVZoo does not carry forward the TID. So, what can you do? If you don't want to edit the file manually, you can just check this box to import it anyway. Now, the only difference is for this conversion here, when we know which CTID it is we'll be able to match this back to the actual tracking or cloak link that you have used okay uh, with this one we still import the commission it will show up in the overview reports but it will not show up in the sub reports for country reports etc because the ctid click tracking id is the key is the Im most important uh, data that we need here okay and so what you can do after this is you can manually go back to this conversion and just add in the same CTID if you don't want to mess around with Excel, Excel file before uploading okay and then now um, you can also uh, check this and here you see sale refunded okay CTID does not exist now the conversion amount for this is negative so um, we do not uh, automatically accept this but it's up to you if you want to record the negative transaction anyway you can do that just click on override here and that will override so now i have lots of other ctid not found i'm just going to check everything here and this is another sale refunded okay uh, so i would want to import that as well so now that uh, I've checked everything that I want to and of course if you want to just check everything you can just use this main checkbox here check once to check everything okay and then click on confirm import all right so now the goal has been imported or actually the conversion has been imported uh, to your account so click back to conversions all right and you can see all the conversions here Oh, well, actually, the conversions are on page. Let me change the entries here to about 100. All right, so down here, somewhere down here, yes. All right, down here, you'll be able to see all the conversions that I have just uh, imported using the JVZoo file. Now, uh, some of them may not have a TID, but since I've checked ignore all the errors and import anyway, we've just imported everything, okay? Now, uh, in this column here, reference ID, this is the unique transaction ID given by JVZoo, okay? So there is a built-in checking and alert system in Audience Press as well to prompt you if you are trying to upload for a duplicate reference ID. Uh, in which case, I do recommend that uh, you may want to reject it if uh, it is actually the same sale. You don't want to be uh, recording the same conversion or the same commission twice, okay? All right, so everything looks good over here. Uh, again, if you want to go to the individual conversions here and you can just click view and edit, conversion recorded, and you can see the entire timeline all the details of this conversion and down here you can see the tracking link okay so this visitor click on this uh this tracking link over here and if you click on that it will actually go to that particular cloaked uh tracker to get more details from the traffic source so this is from a direct visit which could be from a bookmark it could be from a youtube description video it could even be from gmail because gmail again does not give you the referral information it can be different for every single traffic source but here you can see notes 
manual import CTID found. This is just added by audience press when you import it. So if this is uh, not a valid conversion, you can change the status to rejected and that will hide it from your reports. You can see the CTID here, you can change it. As I mentioned, if the CTID is zero, uh, you can just come in and put in your own CTID here. The unique ID is given by JVZoo, the value, uh, USD, you can change the currency if you're not dealing with JVZoo, you can change it to something else in the settings page. Conversion type, sale or lead, sale, that's correct. Uh, conversion name and date and time. Everything looks just nice. Now let's go back to reports. I'm going to show you uh, the conversions that we have just uploaded. All right, so I'm going to change this from last 24 hours. I'm going to change it to this year. Okay, so this year, um, you can see the conversions that we have recorded, which also includes the JVZoo conversions and some other conversions that I'm tracking using Audience Press that are not affiliate commissions. They are my own opt-in forms and my uh, own uh, subscriber uh, lead generation pages. Now, when you click on referrers, you can see all the referring URL. Again, the CTID or click tracking ID generated by Audience Press and passed to uh, JVZoo in the form of JVZoo's TID is the key data, the most important data that we need to match the conversion to the referring traffic sources or pages, countries, links, and campaigns. So I can see all the referring sources here. For example, Aweber, okay, how many clicks I got from Aweber and how many clicks from my website, what is the conversion rate for all the stuff there. I can click on countries, links, campaigns, and get a lot more information as well. All right, so that's how easy it is to actually track your affiliate sales and conversions uh, using Audience Press, using cloaked links in Audience Press, and the affiliate tracking feature that is unique that is available only in Audience Press.